on. Yes, people, welcome to Saeed TV. And oh, wait, my Where name is Saeed. My name is Saeed. I have just my changed. name is Saeed. No, my name is Saeed. Wait, what's your name? I'm just here for the vibes. Who's, the, who's wait, this guy? Is that, is that is that Saeed? Saeed. Oh, I didn't know Saeed was white, Asian, and another Asian. Will the real wow. Saeed please stand up? I don't. No, Sai will be here. <laughs> Sai will be here in a second. He's just having uh, some technical difficulties. So, big up anyone that's in here. Please make sure to smash the like for Saeed as well. I'm not hosting. Just letting you guys know. Even though my name is Saeed today, you know, <laughs> that's my Muslim name now. Okay, so Saeed today. We've got Saeed number two and Saeed number three. So we all Saeed. But anyway, smash that like button if you're in here. I don't know how many people are in here right now, but. I'm seeing 24 likes, nearly 100 people in it. So yeah, definitely, that, that's not good enough. Get them up for Saeed. Saeed right here, Daniel Ali, you know? Saeed's here right now. I'm you here, man. Him? I don't know why people are here. Just like Michael Jackson, bro. Don't worry about that, man. He's here. That's what I'm saying. But anyways, uh, let's get into it a little bit. He'll be here in a second. Just We're just going to run it for him. But today's results. Uh, let's get this out of the way. Not Arsenal. No, 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 no one else. Not Chelsea. Let's talk about that 3-3 free free where Trossard is dumped. Yeah, a hat trick at Anfield, and they want to mock Man United. Yeah, I get it. We didn't get a point or a result, but if you don't get a W against Brighton at your own at your own turf, it's it's a bit embarrassing, don't you guys think? All right, Alison, 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 this guy. You see, Alison, different gravy, man. He's the only one that kept Liverpool winning. <laughs> only one. Liverpool could have been like four 0 down in the first twenty minutes if it weren't for Alison. He kept them in the game. Trent shocking today. Van Dijk even for the third goal could have done better. <laughs> The, uh, to be fair, Diaz did make an impact when he came on, but uh, they, yeah, they just ain't good enough right now. No, you, you I don't. You know what? It's, it's mad. That I, was, I kept switching it on, off, on, off, and I'm saying three. I'm saying three were uh, two nil. Then what was it? Two one, two two, three two to them, and then I'm saying three three. I'm like, what, what's going on here? Trossard, Trossard, Trossard. Welbeck could have scored. Allison being a beast. Oh, I can see it from Liverpool fans. Yeah, fans as well, bro. Oh, sorry, Saeed. Um, is that is um. All I can see is, oh, when Matip and Van Dijk's back, the partnership is back, you know, Jota's back, Thiago's back. They were meant to smack them about 4-0 today. You know what? I thought they were going to smack them 3-0 as well. And it's just a bit, it's just, what's going on at Liverpool? Is, is, this, is it yeah, like listen, Ten Hag likes to say, all errors come to an it's end? It's a hit and miss is with Liverpool it? right now, man. They they got gassed after the 9-0 um, against Bournemouth. They were gassed. They thought, you know what? All right, we've had a little rough patch and we're going to get back to business. You know, we're going to start going into our second gear to, up to the World Cup. But nah, man, Brighton, 
Brighton are, are not a force. You just you just think you can just run over like that, man. They're serious. Trossard is serious. Caicedo, um, um, well back. They, they all look dangerous today. Obviously, if Sanchez don't make that mistake, me and Baines were just talking about that. If Sanchez wasn't being sloppy then in that in that uh, corner kick, it could have. It's Brighton three points, easy. Easy Brighton three yeah. points. And Brighton oh, them, that... Don't forget as well, put heavy respect on Brighton, man. This is not Brighton's territory. Brighton aren't supposed to be doing these things. Brighton got a new manager as well. You can't expect these things from Brighton, but they don't look like they've just lost any any uh, uh, rhythm or nothing. They don't, they don't even look like they've lost Graham Potter. They're still in the same pace, same momentum. They they looking sharp, man, and and obviously they got the W against us as well. So we gotta be slightly, you know, a bit humble towards them. They did that in our turf as well. But hopefully now, hopefully, um, Liverpool can can continue this run of L's and and you know uh, audition straight. for the Europa League. Straight, they got Arsenal straight. City next as well. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. You know, you're right. You're right. They got Arsenal away, and then I think they got City at home. If I'm Tough right, game, am I right, guys? Man. Yeah. Yeah, man. I. By the way, um, side. If anyone has joined, uh, side will be here soon, in it. But I'm just saying, I'm side number one right now. We got side number two and side number three. So side number three, man. Let's let's talk. Let's talk a little bit more about Liverpool and what chances they actually gonna have this season. Because would you be looking for like as like no joke like would you, as a board and as fans and everything? There's a big split right now. This whole Pep Linders thing, Klopp, FSG. It's a bit. It's a bit mix and match, and it's a bit toxic from the outside view, and no one really knows unless you're a Liverpool fan. Who, who wants to be a Liverpool fan? But all errors come to an end. I'm going to keep repeating myself. Is it is it Klopp's time? Do you reckon it's coming to that point, or do you reckon they'll just turn it around? Because it's Liverpool, they've got quality. But That's the thing, isn't it? Like, all season I've been saying this is Liverpool. Surely, once everyone's back, they'll turn it around. That's what I keep saying, but nah, they ain't currently. I don't think like you can say Klopp out yet, innit? Like, what he's done yeah. at Liverpool, what he's done... For that club, I, I feel like he's probably one of those people that like, bigger than football kind of thing for them kind of thing, isn't it? Like he's kind of mm. changed them completely over the last couple of years. But we're seeing it. Like I keep saying, they're too good to not finish up for. But hey, the results are speaking right now. The results are speaking yeah, differently. All right, big upside number three with that man. But yeah, all right, guys, I'm literally if I could, I would go through your comments and talk about. It. I get it. You want it's the United channel. Well, it's United, it's Saeed and everything. But I am Saeed today. I'm white Saeed today. So. You got, you got to respect it. But what about look, like that team? Like we can talk about how bad Liverpool were, how being, but you could, you can also just at the same respect, like you were saying as well. The same respect, Bayern are just being that good. Like I'm not joking. Like they just were that good. The Zer- like the Zerbi just looks like he's just come in and taken the reins of a Potter, and then he's done his thing. Oh my days! Was I Saeed? I I'm yeah. cast, by the way. Yeah, we saying no, like say number two and three. Let's elevate down. We can be faz and you know. Again, <laughs> never mind. I, I'm just, I just, I just somehow I turn into the white Saeed in it for a bit. Okay. Yo, yo, what are you telling me, man? Sorry about that. Listen, if the if the picture quality is not great, allow me, man. I don't know what's happened to my webcam here, but I think it's died on me. But big up to everybody in the chat. All these man discussing. Oh, we're just talking about how crap Liverpool are right now and that Klopp is uh, inevitable to get sacked at some point and uh, long may it continue with L's. Mm. You know what? They're looking dodgy, man. I thought Brighton, if it weren't for that, obviously that Webster goal went in. I was thinking, how did Brighton manage to bottle this? But you know what, man? Fair play, Brighton. But Liverpool's defence, man, it can be got out, man. And we've, we've seen it with our team. Your, your mic went off, yeah. it was just me. Yeah, Trent Alexander-Arnold, like I said, looking shaky. It's all looking peak, man, right now for 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 um, for what's it called, Liverpool. Arsenal did their thing. I can't lie to you, they're looking good. I did, I did, I, do you reckon we could say to them title contenders or too soon? Start, chill, man, out, reckon, chill, man? Out, chill out, chill out, chill out, man. You know your mic, your mic, your, your mic turned off. By the way, so I'm just it's coming through your webcam. I think. All right, one second. Then. We can yeah, go on, start, man. Well, I'll be honest, Arsenal do look really, really good in it. Like, I'm so yeah. happy for Granit Xhaka in it. That's always been my guy, but I still think it's too soon in it. I still think it's too soon. Like, let's see at the end of October, November time where, where they are kind of thinking. Like, currently, don't get me wrong, they are playing mm. sensational football. But you still mm. never know with Arsenal kind of thing. Mm. Mm. Yeah, yeah, of course, of course, man. But listen, man, Chelsea got a last minute winner, Faz. Flipping jammy, jammy finger, man. Bloody hell, my last minute. But oh, this is how it is now. It's you know what it is. It's going to be one of the situations now where 
every three points is a, it's almost like a must, man, because it's too yep. many teams won't yep. drop points. But I don't know if this season will be the season where people drop points, man. Can't yeah. lie to you. But listen, let me tell you something. Arsenal are competing for fuck all. They're competing for <laughs> fuck all. Stop disrespect. And when, when do we when do we give respect to Arsenal? When do when do we start doing stop this, Saeed? I don't want to hear it. I don't want to hear mm. it. It wait till February, yeah. Wait till World Cup's finished. Wait till February, January, and then we decide because we've seen numerous times we've seen City be eighth at the start of the season and then go and win the Premier League. We've seen it happen. So mm. please let's keep it calm with the with the title content contenders and whatever. They're on this run. You know exactly what um, Arteta is doing. He's trying to collect all the points he can up to the World Cup. He's trying to go on the most busiest run he can right up mm. to the World Cup. Come after the World Cup injuries and Europe. If those two, you know, uh, bees sting Arsenal, you're fucked. Arsenal's fucked. You can't do nothing. So I do not want to hear about Arsenal competing for nothing. It's Arsenal mm. at the end of the day. Please, they're a mid. They're a they're a mid club. They're a small club. Please. Mm. <laughs> Listen, man, you heard it from Faz, man. Go on. <coughs> Let me interject a little bit there as well, man. As a United fan, as United fans all here, I don't... Ilias, big up Ilias is always on every... Everyone knows Ilias by now, right? Right? Mm. Everyone knows Ilias. Ilias, shut the fuck up. Anyways, <laughs> long story like... <laughs> with Arsenal, yeah, I just refuse to believe they're going to be successful again. I said it yesterday, nice, so proud and clear. Oh, was it on Thursday? I think it was on Coppish. I said on the oh. Prem panel, yeah, I was saying along the lines, it don't matter how good Arsenal do or how well they think they're going to get. They're never, they're not even going to win the Premier League in the next 10 years. Man United will win the Premier League again before Arsenal do. And that's tr relevant trophies. The relevant trophies this, these times in this day and age is the Champions League and the Premier League. If you get an FA Cup, that's a nice little one. You get me? But other than that, they just win the FA Cup and no Europa Leagues even. It's, it's a what it's who cares kind of thing. But you can't deny Arsenal are building something good and there will be a team hard to beat on top of that. Mm. So you have, I will respect them on that part. But Arsenal fans, mm. you make me sick. Yeah, they make can't me lie sick. though, man. I, mean, I actually enjoy watching Arsenal, you know. Oh, you get get him out. Say, get... No, I'm actually dead serious. Like, you, they, you, you him. Now, Baines, he's been receiving too many super chats from Zayn Miasi. That's what's been happening. No, no, no. no. <laughs> I'm actually dead serious, you know. Like, I actually... I think Arsenal were one of like the most balanced sides in the Premier League. Like, don't get me wrong, Gabriel mm. still needs to be improved on. But the rest of the team, I really, really like them. Mm. Like, come on, man. They They're doing their play. thing, man. You, you can't they, knock them. They're doing their thing. You know what I mean? They're they playing well. Dominated them. Even against Brentford. Brentford, that's a hard game, you know. They went away 1-3-0 mm. you know, and it dominated that game. Mm. What? Yeah. Is, that, is that Arsenal away shirt from last season, Baines? <laughs> we have to give them credit, kind of thing, isn't it? No, nah, mm. I hear what you're saying, man. As much as we can't deny them, my life has like, mm. even as much as we don't want them to win, we can't this deny it. Because if you told me, too. but if you told me, yeah, if you told me any of you, man, yeah, Arsenal v Liverpool next week or when it, when it's next week, I'm choosing Arsenal at the Emirates right yeah. now, as it currently stands. And that's the respect mm. we have to put on them. Unfortunately, I hate to do it, but I don't think they're winning. They could go there and win, man. There. They could go there and win, I think, man. You know what I mean? Liverpool are looking very, very shoddy. But Zane's come back at you, man, and say, what a masterpiece, Faz. You are rattled mid-club yet higher than you. But you know what's mad, though? If we mm. won, if we beat Leeds, and let's say we did beat Man City, not only do we go, go above Man City, but we'll be three points within Arsenal. And then what now? Mm, no, I think uh, we've got everyone's got to play one game in hand, isn't it? So... You know, what I mean, we have to still win them two games as well. Um, mm. It's interesting, man. Like I said, yeah, I think this Premier League is going to be wide open, man. The top six battles might decide the top four race. I don't know because it looks like everyone else is beating the teams around them. Obviously, Liverpool are the the question in 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 mind. They have dropped points, um, but yeah, man, it's looking. Us are doing well. When they crumble, I will be there. So let them enjoy it now. Enjoy the victory, whatever. But I always say that the Arsenal meltdown is always around the corner. But um, Zayn is saying here, only Arsenal can challenge City for this league. Saliba already better than Rio Ugh. when he was at his age. Listen, man, Rio was doing big things, man. You need to stop stop with this chat, man. But um, listen, big sh make sure everyone likes the video. Uh, make sure everyone subscribes to the Mandem. But we have got a big game tomorrow. And um, Faz, should we fear Man City? Fear for what? Fair who? Skynet. You, man, have been giving so much respect to Skynet. I'm sick of it. I'm absolutely sick of it. Uh, do you want to reference what Skynet is to the people, man. by no, the no, way? No, hold on. No. No, why no do I people don't know. Me? Why do <laughs> people want me to mute my... No, hold on, man. Why do people want me to lower my voice when I'm talking about Skynet? 
No, man, he's having a hardware upgrade right now as we speak to tomorrow. And my butcher is going to mess up his wiring. That's what's going to happen. And when it happens, yeah, I'm going to be here alone. Yeah, because every every single person was fucking wearing the thong and twerking for Skynet. Everybody's twerking for Skynet, yeah? Let the people know who, you think, who Skynet is. Let the people know. Who's, who do you think Skynet is, man? Have you, you ever watched the Terminator? From Autobot to Skynet when he came to Man City, man. No, man. Erling Haaland, yeah, 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 yeah. I'm telling you, I got a light eight bar verse for Haaland as well. When we bash him, I'm telling you, I got a light eight bar verse for Haaland. I'm not, no, man. I'm not having it, man. We ain't scared for <laughs> shit. How we scared, Say We got Ver we got Rose Rice Varan, we got Butcher, we got Rottweilers, we got German Shepherds in our fucking squad, man. What are you what are you telling me, man? Mm. We got I like the energy the squad, man. Where's the chest? Where's the chest? Yeah. Martial no, no. Mm. ice, yeah, ice chamber, nitrogen chamber, man. We got everything. We ain't scared. <laughs> no, we I think Tottenham's got that. <laughs> facts, facts. Cause you feeling the energy, you feeling the energy I, tomorrow. I we yeah, bro. Um, you know what it is. I'm not gonna lie. Every, every time it gets closer, now it's getting towards obviously the eve, late evening, night. That's what's sort of my mind now. Now we have got the Wolves and West Ham. I don't care about it. All the big games are done, and I do. I'm nervous, bro. I am nervous. It's natural to be nervous. I'm anxious, yeah. but I'm excited. I want to see something from from Man United. I'll be real. But if people don't understand Skynet, if you ever watched the Terminator, the thing that created the Terminator and everything else that was coming alongside it from the future was Skynet. That's why he's calling Erling Haaland Skynet, basically a robot. You know, mm. as as obviously big up big C lads are calling a Nordic meat shield. So it's just gonna get butchered as Saeed referenced yesterday in his video. But yeah, you know man, what I mean? listen. That was good. I like that combat by the way. It was that was that was a that was a swift one. I yeah, man, listen, he's tried to he's tried to gas up the you know what I mean his player. I tried to gas up mine. This is what it's all about, isn't it, man? We we have to come there with an intention to kind of make it a good game stat, man. You know what I mean? We can't be thinking about what City can do. We've got to give what we can do. I know the blues are in the chat now, you know what I mean? Saying we got KDB. We've got certain other players, but we've got to show that what we've got, you know, I mean, Sancho, Anthony, I don't, not a lot of people are talking about Anthony, you know, Anthony's in this game, you know, he's playing tomorrow. Like, you know. I hear that, but uh, nah, you, you know what I mean? We're, we're sitting back against City no matter what. We, we can't play ball against City. We will get battered. We just have to sit back and hope we can help them on the counter like we always do. Rashford on the counter, yeah. now he's fully fit or he's back kind of thing, isn't it? Anthony on the counter, that, that's our biggest hope. And I'll be honest, I don't mind that. As I said, like, we need to know where we are. We're not going to dominate the ball against Man City. Let them have the ball. Mm. Then there's a Martinez and Ryan Kendrick keep up Haaland. That's going to be a good battle. And I think we can. And then we have, we have to see from there kind of thing on the counter. But I'll mm. be honest, I still think we're going to win. I said it yesterday. Whoa! We're winning still. You didn't tell me whoa, you're going to win. Whoa, no, no, but that's whoa, what I said. Remember no, no, no. no that, that was his prediction, though. That was his prediction. No, I said 2 football. 1 in Rashford, please. Oh, yeah. I thought you said a draw on me when we spoke. No, I said 2-1 okay, if Rashford enough. plays. And I'll be honest, if Rashford's fully fit now, I'll, I'll be honest, that's our biggest threat. We need him mm. back so bad. With him, I'm mm. kind of confident. Yeah. Party, goal of the season, says Stat, uh, says um, say Miasi. I says, Faz, City have the Terminator, you have the fridge. But the fridge won't be playing tomorrow. The, 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 the Maguire won't be playing. We've got Lissandra Martinez and we've got, um, we've got um, Varane. Um, PSV96 says, Say, tell your boy to turn his cap around. What? And talk sensibly. You win a few games and think you're back to glory. Relax. I see some of United fans also deluded. That's a Listen, cap, man, he... man, Said, Said, you missed another super Thank chat. There was another one. Where? Uh, oh, yeah. Sorry. Big up Alien Tello. Skynet down, Faz, te Faz net in. That's Come on. It. That's what we want, man. Energy, it, energy, man. man. We ain't scared of no Skynet. We ain't scared of no Autobot, no Terminator, man. All of them can be turned off with one button. And the one button, the person who's going to push that button is Lissandra Martinez. All this respect that you lot are putting on Skynet, when he gets found out, yeah, you lot are putting the, him in the same sentence as Van Nistelrooy, Ronaldo and all these, man. Watch tomorrow, man. Benzi, I like the confidence, man. Rashford, we're going to win this game on speed. Diaz I... and Cancelo, <laughs> both on international duty, they got, found, they, got, they got caught out, man, lacking. They were lacking on international duty. Whereas my gunners, them, they were all right. Baran was all right. Ericsson with the freaking outside the box goal. We'd be all right, man. Mm. We'll be fine. I'll be you know what it is as well? Oh, go on, Baran. go on, Ben. Go on. No, nah, I said it. I think I said it. Say the person I'm scared the most is Gundogan. Mm. Like Gundogan's late run. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Let's be honest. Like McTominay's not need really an actual six, is he? Now nah, is Ericsson. So like his late runs into the box could cause a lot of problems to us. Like I think mm. that's the hardest thing to defend in football. Late runs into the box. And he's a master yep. of that. Yeah. Facts. What were you saying, Kaz? 
Well, at first, you know what? I changed my mind what I was going to say. But there's like 300 man in here, but not even 100 likes. So if you have, please remind or just do smash the like for Saeed, please. Like, you never know. Look, Saeed's on the road to his next next goal with subscribers and stuff. You can push him to his next subscriber by hitting a like. Yeah, it helps everyone on YouTube. Most important thing on YouTube, subscribers. And make sure you're watching the video as long as possible. If Just stay tuned in. So please do that for, for my guy. Uh, but mm. other than that as well, I appreciate anyone that has like. But I one of my members, them, Omo. I, one of my members, Omo, man, big up, man, with chess. This is what it's about. No, we yeah, beat City, I, I, we I, win I, the league. Now I'm okay. around Man United fans and not the generic fans. Like, obviously, big up Daps and that. Now I'm feeling it. I'm feeling like, yeah, you know what? We might win this, you know? I'll be real. But I've always got, I have to be realistic with this for myself because. I don't want to put too much expectation on Man United. Why I don't want to do that? Because when every Man United fan gets confident, we end up we, we, we end up losing or dropping points or something like that. So I'm going to be a bit more pessimistic. I'm going to go with a 1-1. One, one. Some might say that's optimistic if you're a City fan, but for me, 1-1. One, one. Why Rashford? Big up Baines on that notice. Because it's... Let's face it, yeah? I said, mm. as you said, Gundogan, I've also said Gundogan in, on other videos, but I said, it's Bernardo Silva, if he plays, he turns up against us. Not KDB, not Harlan, not nobody else. Don't care about it. They haven't got a certified partnership at the back. Their fullbacks ain't exactly playing well. And what they're doing lately is they're playing a lot inside. And when you play a lot inside, like against Villa, Mings was eating it up. So if you're going to keep doing that, they're going to have to find solutions. Pep is a, is a solution mm. solver. So I'm not going to underrate this man to not get something done. Solution but at the same time... Solver. You mean problem solver? No, he he's gonna, he's gonna, no, 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 he has to. No, the solution is us winning. Bro. Solution, yeah. Anyways, okay. The solution, okay. Is us, the solution is us winning. So there's no problems. You get what I'm saying? So anyways, mm. I say 1-1. One, one. And on that note, I think it's because if we keep it tight in the middle, I've said it against the bigger games in Arsenal and Liverpool. They had to attack us down the flanks and mm. we sussed them up. They ain't, got, they ain't got much going down the flanks. And that's why I feel like Man United have a chance on a counter-attack on a break. Bruno, I don't rate Bruno for like some man, but it's not the point. Mm. He's been playing well this season. He's played some killer balls and on a counter attack, who do you want on that a person to be passing you those those final mm. balls? It's Bruno Fernandez at the end of the day. Mm. Martial is back. I don't think he's gonna play, but I think he might get 10 minutes. Guys, still, he performs against City. Rash was a few goals against City and an assist. A few so goals against City, yeah. Yeah. Do you, do you get what I'm saying? So this is why it gives me a bit more confidence. Keep Ronaldo out of the line. Maybe keep Ronaldo to the end of the game. I think he will come on and if you're playing a counter attack, the last person you want to see in the box is Ronaldo, if I'm being if I'm being honest. But mm. same time. I'm interested to see who goes with who he goes with McTominay or Casemiro, anchor it or someone that's a bit more flexible. Mm. I'd be yeah, sure true. Who would you man go with? Um, I, I think for me, I keep the the same the same lineup. Me, I think Casemiro coming off the bench might be might be a kind of a. But we don't know in it. We don't know what Tenag does. That's the thing that nobody knows what the team's gonna be. I, I generally think yeah, he might change it up a little bit. He might not even play Anthony. He might even go with Ilango. I don't know. No, you no, just don't know what the manager. Yeah, no, but I'm but saying yeah. though, in this in this kind of game, he might go with what he's done before and maybe kind of go different pro. Nobody knows set in stone that every single player will start. Like you just don't know. Ten hour will draw, will surprise us. Let me just get a super chat in before you go, fans. Sense. It makes the most sense to play Anthony because we all know Ten Hag. Of course, likes, of course, likes to have his have his wingers or forwards stretch the whole pitch. And when City come tuck in with Cancelo, the best way you beat the, the, those types of play is having your forwards and wingers stretched right to the wing. That way, they'll get a lot more space. They can run in behind and then put some crosses in, link up play with the middle person, get some uh, get some assists. And the person to do that is exactly mm. Anthony. Anthony as well, it makes sense because he can cut in and we know he's got a left foot on him as well. So you could yeah. use, utilise that as well. Yeah. Uh, big up to Ronald Jacob says, I will say my, with my chest, my United will win tomorrow. Martinez has has to say, has to stay to Haaland. I am going to do do to you what Roy did to your father. Would love to watch Bruno and McTominay doing breakup play tomorrow. Yeah, you know what it is though with with McTominay, um, Statman. Uh, Stat he might be a big asset in this game. Just break up play, becoming very very stubborn in there, getting on the heels of De Bruyne and and, and other players. I know he hasn't got the unbelievable quality as a ball possession and whatnot, but he still has that kind of knack about him where he does he does he does cause a little bit of problem for them in terms of you know being a nuisance. Yeah, I think that's the perfect word, nuisance. And we know McTominay can still carry the ball to a decent enough level, like with his like physical attributes kind of thing, isn't it? And then that's where you yep. kind of have to hope, can you find the pass? Because let's be honest, this season, he's been finding yep. the pass. Like his passing going forward has been a lot better. But see, he's a different kettle of fish kind of thing. Rodri yep. against Rodri versus Bruno in that area. Let's be honest, Bruno Fernandes in the bigger games hasn't been the best for United mm -hmm. so far. Especially when he has a yep. man close to him. Been shocking since he's come in. 
But yeah. let's hope that can change. And I'll be honest, like, with Anthony thing, yeah, I think Anthony will be very similar to how he was against Zinchenko. You know how Zinchenko was coming inside, Anthony was basically following him. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Get a plan for it. I think it'll be the same thing with Cancelo. Mm. Yeah. You, do, do you think everyone else? What What are you guys in midfield wise? What What are you thinking, Faz? What What are you kind of hoping for midfield? Are you wanting a Casemiro just because it's Casemiro, or would you rather keep it where the way it is? You're on mute, by the way. You're on yeah, mute, Faz. You're on mute. Yeah. Um. Yeah. With the midfield thing, I said it on my stream yesterday as well. My, my thing, the most important job, number one, is McTominay's. McTominay has to go and do a job tomorrow for me. And then it's Ericsson as well. Bruno, we'll put him aside. We know what Bruno does. Maximum effort, sometimes minimal uh, minimal result. The guy will just run, run, run and give us everything. But McTominay is the real person who needs to be making sure he can do that break-up play. He can, break, he can stop that Kevin De Bruyne, that Gundogan, whoever needs to be stopped. Because Varane... And Martinez have their hands full. If De Bruyne starts now finding, if De Bruyne collects the ball and looks up, it's game over. Mm. That's that's the issue. So we can't let De Bruyne have any moment where he's having, he's feeling comfortable or he's getting into the rhythm in the game. McTominay needs to be physical. He needs to make uh, De Bruyne aware that you know you can't you can't just boss me around. You can't just you know play normal football that you do. And I think he McTominay will be a very, very crucial part for us in that in that midfield. I don't want to put Casemiro mm. because I feel like I've seen mistakes, man, and I'm not happy with that. I've seen him make mistakes in the Sheriff game. He comes on and he gives away mm. three passes in the first like five, ten minutes he's on. And we can't have that with City. You give passes away, they'll they'll punish you instantly. Mm. We need to play simple football. And McTominay's been, you know, we've seen McTominay's job getting simplified by Ten Hag. And that's what we need to mm. do. Mm. What you say, cuz? Well, Casemiro will get his chance with United anyways. McTominay's one booking away from being suspended. And obviously, Casemiro is probably going to... It's going to happen against City. I think McTominay probably gets booked in the first 10 minutes. Can't disrespect City's midfield, innit? They are tricky to get around, even close down or anything like that. But I just want to see United be confident on the ball and be like, like this team isn't... You know, like, they might be great going forward. They're great at pressing, but show them what we can do as well, you know? Like, they're not the only ballers in the league. Like, you, if you believe in yourself as a Man United player, you need to believe that you're a baller off and you're there for a reason. Then I was picking mm. you for a reason. I, I don't see why he's not going to uh, pick the same lineup like he did against, um, uh, what's it called, against Arsenal. Why would you change a winning side? Mm. Mm. Right? So, again, yeah. the same thing against um, Sheriff as well. Why would you really change a, a winning side? But at the same time, I think I think Casemiro's had a few more games under his, but a couple more games for, since the for the international break. So has McTominay. And they both balled out. Actually, I think all our players are balled out. So it'd be a, it'd be a selection headache. Bruno got a goal. Delo. I'll mm. be very, I'll be very interested to see how Delo copes with whoever goes left wing, whether it's even a Grealish or a Foden. Like, I really... Mm. This is when I start rating Delo or not. Is this game, in my opinion. Because I'm not... Yeah. I'm, I get... For me, I've always seen the lowest mediocrity in it. I don't see nothing special if I'm in on it. It's just because where we've lacked good form in recent years. Yeah, because we because he's, he's been into Brandon Williams. Been, nah, nah, huh? nah, 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 nah. I said they're kind of similar style, like they're kind of nippy and everything like that, etc. etc. There's different nah, qualities. it's Delo's got a bit more technical saw, ability. I, no, no, I said Brandon Williams over Wan Basak, if you remember Baines. I'd rather that. But I mm. said just for the style, stylistically, as you know, that's that's you know, uh, what's his name? Tyrone's word. He loves to say, but um, but with the low, it's a big test for the low tomorrow. You know, because, a lot of people are not because, realizing that because, big test. Because yeah, because we've had like a lack of good fullbacks, we're excited to see these pair of fullbacks that we got now. But when it comes to thinking of the elite stuff, he, right now he's playing serious. He's on form. But this mm. game, you've done it against Arsenal, you've done it against Liverpool, right? Now, if you do it against the the best, the big guns in the league, the best team in the league, I'll be like, you know what? I think we got a good fullback on our hands. Let's see how he plays. Yeah. Same with Malaysia as well, you know. Like, I respect mm. him and I think he's good right now defensively. I want to see where he's like going forward because I think he's probably just as good going forward, really, when, once he gets mm. once he gets going. But again, if you can keep their wings quiet, the only barber man you really got to keep quiet. Again, I get it. They've got another three, four man that you have, to, you have to look at. I'm not being funny. I'm more scared of Julian Alvarez than anybody else other than uh, Bernardo Silva. I'll be real. Not, not uh, De Bruyne. Right just not quickly, Bruyne. Said, just I, quickly I, said on this, on this much, dialogue Not against thing. United. Just quickly on this Dallow thing, if we if if Pep plays Grealish, Alhamdulillah, thank you very much. If yeah. he plays Foden, that's when Dallow has to concentrate. But if he plays Bad B Grealish, we're fine. Don't worry about it. Mm. Grealish, yeah, to be fair, though, had a good game against um, United in um, last last season. Start my member at the uh, at the Etihad. He had a decent game. Um, yeah, well, who didn't have a good game against us last year? 
Yeah, that's true. That's true. The thing with Grealish, though, at least with 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 Dalo, there's not going to be that pace in behind. It's going to be very, very kind of um, just direct. I think Dalo can manage that. It's just when there's pace, there's trickery, there's skill involved. That's when I think Dalo will struggle, and that's why for me, I don't want to. I don't want Foden playing him because he can get in behind, he can get in the pockets, could go either side of him. That's when I think Foden might get the best out of him. So it, it just depends on what dynamic the manager gives and what, Wait, what would kind you not of say you know, Dalo's had bigger tests in Martinelli and Diaz. Like yeah, and he's and, and he's done well, him, and he's done yeah. well. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. That's so yeah. this 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 is why I think Dalo needs a lot of more respect this season, and I've given him that. I think for me this season he's shut me up. I've gone from a Dalo, not hater, but just kind of almost like mm, I'm not sure about Dalo. I don't think he's a United fullback, but mm. now this season he's stepped up, and for me he's been. I think. You know, so far, who's been playing better than Dalo this season? Let's be honest. Obviously, you got Lissandro Martinez and Varane. You know what I'm concerned about? Remember Pep in the first game when he played them, when he had Foden, like being a touchdown wing on the left hand side, and I can't remember who was on the right. It might have been Jesus. Yeah. They were both hogging the whip kind of thing, innit? Or was it Sterling? Yeah. That's when I'm like, that's where it's going to be interesting to see what Dalo does. Does he then close down Foden, go touch tight, or does he like leave a bit of gap? Because mm. say, for example, Anthony is going to be closer to Cancelo, then that leaves a question mm. mark in. Dallow's head. That's going to be interesting in what he does. Yeah, true. True. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Big up to uh, Ronald Jake. says, I respect Tanag. He's the biggest liar. He didn't let Pep know this or anyone till yesterday at Rashford and Martial are fit. That's my coach. Man said eras need to come to an end. Now they will. Yo, listen, man. It, it could be anything this season, man. Honestly, this season is going to be a madness, man. Teams are beating each other. Teams are are becoming stronger. So we'll have to find out, man. It's going to be interesting. Oh. I think after the World Cup, it will be interesting to see what the dynamic is. Go on. Well, they're saying, they're saying Ramos, that Ramos guy from uh, Benfica is actually costing 40 million euros to take his... Uh, that's his price tag currently at the moment. Would you? I'm taking that personally. I think he's a... I, I didn't know much too much about him. And then I started... I watched I watched Benfica a little bit and then I just watched some compilations on him, really. Like, he looks he looks like another Alvarez, if I'm being honest, for me. Like, he looks mm. quite decent. But other than... Away from that, if Man United do get a result against City, how confident are you lot thinking that we... I think you already said that we're going to get top four in your predictions, say. But how... Yeah, for I me, did. That's not confident. For me, that's not so confident just yet. Would you, man, after this game, be like, you know what? People need to start respecting us, like, you know? Like, it's time to put some respect on our... Yeah, team. that's we what I said on the big six. Points on the big... A lot of people... Yeah, go on. I was just saying, like, we eat in points of a liberal... Yes, it's at home, but Old Trafford... We're worse at Old Trafford than we were away. So... I'm just saying, do, do teams have to start respecting us? Like, we beat Arsenal, we beat Liverpool at home, and then we take in points of City. It's that point, it's like, you know what, we might look like we're kind of giant killers right now. Maybe it's a system that we're currently playing, because it mm. is a bit deeper than what we'd probably like. Because Oli done the same thing, but, you know, but it's just... What would you, what do you man, think? Yeah, put, go on then, Faz, whoever wants to go in there. What was the question? I didn't... I, I wasn't... It's like, do, do you reckon that we'll start getting more respect if we take uh, points of City? Because we've already done it to two other big six teams. One that's already in form at the top of the league and the other one obviously not so in form. Hmm. No, we need to demand our respect, man. What's this thing about, oh, be humble and shit, man? I don't like this talk, man. I don't like this talk. We need... To, we, we, we're, not, we're Man United. We can't be humble. I'm tired of being humble. I was humble last season. I was giving people respect last season. Now we give Brighton respect. We don't give cities respect. We don't give Arsenal, Liverpool, these lot. We don't give them respect, man. We respect Brighton. We respect a, a, a like Brentford, yeah? But we don't respect these lot. We need to go and get back what's ours. Fuck this be humble shit, man. We, we're not here to be humble, man. We're a big club. Mm. We, we need to... Where, where have we put United this season, Faz? Where, where have you put United this season? Manchester United will come third this season, man. You don't have to ask me twice. I don't know why people don't have no chest, volume, bass. Where's your bass in your voice? Who's finishing oh, second? No bass, man. Who's finishing wait, wait, second? Give me your top six. Yeah, give me your top give six. Me... Yeah, what's your huh? top six? Give me... What's it? Yeah, give me your six. Give me your six. Listen, if we be, if we mess up Skynet tomorrow, yeah, it's don't, like I said, say, do not let me on your stream because I'm telling you that number one position <laughs> is possible. Managers have done it before <laughs> on their first on their first season. They've done it, man. They've done it. Where's the where's the belief? So if we win tomorrow, we win in the league. No, I'm not saying yo, God. <laughs> 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 <But> that's... <laughs> I'm saying I'm saying crazy things are happening because if if Ty, when I'm speaking to Ty, yeah, or Don yeah. Lovia, they're telling me behind the scenes that they're excited. Why can't we be excited, man? Of if course, we of course. Tie net, think about it. 
this is the this is the number one player on earth right now, apparently. And if we can beat them, if we can beat pepperoni passion, pepperoni passion, then come mm. on, man, anything is possible. Managers well, have done it on the first. Listen, Liverpool, they're not they're, they're fucked, they're done. Spurs, I told you, not coming top four. Brighton can come top four. Spurs are not even coming top four. But originally, I said City, somehow they'll do it because that's what they do. They can lose games, yet still go and win the league. City, then I said it could be it could be Liverpool. But after today, I'm, I'm concerned. But third is definitely Man United. Fourth, I said Chelsea. I see Chelsea doing something. They got their jammy little goal today as well. And fifth, sixth is, is, is fucking Arsenal, Liverpool, whoever. Whoever fucking does fifth and sixth, man. But we're mm. coming third. That's all I know. For now, we're coming mm. third. But after Even 24 hours, ask, ask me in 24 hours what position we come. And I'll tell you what, it'll be a different answer. I'll tell you that. Mm. You know, so, 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 okay, give me your top six then, just for now. Just before, before anything. What's your top six in general? Right now, as it stands, Man United, uh, sorry, no, Man City. Yeah. Liverpool. Mm. Man United in third. Mm. Chelsea. Yeah. Tottenham and Arsenal. Oh, Arsenal six, yeah? Yeah, they fucked up. Okay. Man. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, come on, man. Mm. Baines, why are you smiling, man? No why are you chance. giving respect? <laughs> There's no chance Arsenal finishing this. People give respect so easily, man. Respect mm. so easily. Nah, man. You guys, man. No, but then, fans, you can flip it out. What have United done to them respect? We're Manchester. We just we we done. Yeah, ask, but you can't bro. keep using we're we Manchester United as a name. It's a thing. Bro, okay. So Gary did Klopp not, Okay, did Klopp not spend hundred million for one point? No, no. Did but Klopp what I'm not spend hundred million for one point? No, but and what I'm trying to say, team. Arsenal. Even though United are the bigger club, you, Arsenal are still better than us. You can't just say we're Manchester oh, United. We that's we why we're going to finish above Arsenal. We, we smashed them three one, man. Martinelli with the with the salute. Yeah, and Arsenal top right now, man. No nah, man, we smashed them. We smashed Liverpool. We're mm. gonna smash. We're gonna smash City. We're gonna smash uh, Spurs like this, bro. And then you'll see. You'll see. We'll get our respect. Mm. And Hagera is here. Mm. Do you reckon uh, Statman City will respect us in terms of our play? You know, I mean, would they be cautious of what we what did, we're doing? Yeah, to an extent. Pep, I think towards what was it? Remember there was times where Pep used to play two DMs against us just because he knew yeah. United on the counter used to be so good, kind of thing, innit? So yeah, 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 yeah. He might show us some respect, but listen, I doubt City are really going to change the game massively for United at this point. Mm. Like, still, like, City at home, they should still play their game. And mm. listen, if, if if I'm Pep, are you really changing your game for United right now? This is it? Maybe. No, maybe you might. Mm. Only reason being... Slightly, no, no, only but re- not a lot. Because, no, no. Only reason being is because City haven't exactly played well. They, don't get me wrong. They played Bournemouth. Yeah, they haven't. They haven't. Have they're, yeah. they're slapping teams that are getting slapped anyways, right? So on that note, is they don't really play that well when you actually consider that. Like, don't get me wrong. They have. like don't, Even West Ham, they didn't play well. Um, you, what other games? There? Aston Villa, they didn't play well. Uh, Newcastle, they don't, they don't want to, they don't want to get back. But even any any City fan in here, you can, uh, you can literally tell me yourselves, you know what? We actually haven't played that well, but Haaland is Haaland. Uh, he, he is getting goals out of nothing. He can have a shit game and get one or two goals out of the whole game. It don't matter. It, it is, it's true. It is what your number nine needs to do. He's just mm-hmm. instead to score goals. He's involved in some build-up play. Wolves, they had a good game, of course. They had a man sell off as well, but they were generally playing well. I'm not mm-hmm. saying Man United played well, but I'm saying it kind of helps us in our favour, the way we're playing. I see. That's why I say City potentially could play into our hands, but again, that's why I said Pep might change up just that little bit. We might even see Alvarez on the right wing. He might want to stretch the fullbacks as much as possible, leaving a space for their centre mids. Mm. Why centre mids? Because they're going to dominate the ball. Meaning what? They're going to have this. They're going to have a Kevin De Bruyne or something, blowing around at the yeah. left centre back <clears> and the left back or something to, to whip them balls in the back post. He loves the back post. Same thing on the mm. other side. You have a Gundo one late run. It could anything can happen. But it's a derby, regardless of who it is. We beat City a few times in the last how in at the Etihad last few years. They beat us at Old Trafford last few years. You know, same same kind of thing. So you never know what's gonna happen, man. It'll be interesting. But as soon as it hits tomorrow when I wake up, I know facts, I'm gonna be nervous. Mm. Yeah, yeah. Big up to uh Os 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 was it Omo Solo? Omo, Omo, he's one of Omo. Omo. Yeah. Big up to Omo, man, from Faz's channel. You're all scared to say we are good and you're doubting yourself. Deep down, you all know we will win. And yeah. I see you at the parade when we win the cup. 
Yep. Yo, listen, I think for me, I don't think we're getting beat tomorrow. I I've, I've, I put my neck on the line. Whether I think we'll win the game, I'm not too confident in that one. But I'm sure, for me, as a fan, I think we could get a draw there. Um, and that's just my own opinion. Um, but like I said, each to their own. Everyone's got their their sort of, um, you know, feelings and whatnot. Some people might think, you know what, it's a step too far. I think we could get a draw tomorrow. That's my own opinion. Um, Ronald Jacob says, Bro said, what have you done to earn respect? Well, we have lost the last two games bad and then bounced back in the league. That's worthy respect. We beat your mighty ass and Liverpool. We beat in half of the top six. Ronald Jacob there <laughs> backing you up, fans. And, and also, mean, also, hold on, hold on. Man, Let man, me man. just do a little history because I, I don't have the brain cells like Statman does. You, man, have a different sort of brain cells, man, how you remember numbers. But in 2020 season, yeah, Spurs were first. Spurs. Yeah, were yeah, yeah. I got the, I got, a, the I got the picture. We, I got the picture. Yeah, Give me two seconds. I'll bring it up. 10, yeah, Spurs were twenty points in, and Man City were twelve points after game week ten. And then at the end of the season, Spurs came seventh. So if me saying Arsenal can come sixth is not deluded, you might just put in a lot of fake respect, and you don't, you are not wearing this badge with, with honor, man. Wear it with honor, man. You, you have to be willing to die by the badge and live by the badge. You can't just mm. be here and shouting and screaming when Man United are clapping up teams and not have the respect and and not. Have so you're respect. saying when we're losing, when we're winning, when we're drawing, yeah, yeah, this have the chest. Is. Saeed, let me tell you something. If Man United lose tomorrow, you'll see World War Three between Rashford FC, Martial FC, the Bruno FC, all these FCs will start kicking off. Oh, yeah, this play, he wasn't ready. This player, blah, 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 all this. But if Man United win, the same fan base will turn up and say X, Y, Z, oh, yeah, look at this, look at that. We told you this, we told you that. Where's your chest now? You're giving Arsenal mm. respect. Are you crazy? Arsenal. You're crazy, man. Get out of here, man. The same man that used the light bulb to motivate his player against Brighton and they got smacked up. Who? What's the difference between a duck and a rabbit? Come on, man. Get out of here, man. Mm. Uh, what's this graph that you showed me? Um, this table, yeah, what is this, it? This so, is so that's the 20, 20, 21 yeah, table. Yeah, look at the graph, man. Look at, look so at basically the, the first. The first part was the first nine games of the season and the second is where it ended. We were 10th, mm. Saeed. I know we came second and fucked that second, but we were 10th. You cannot tell me things can change on a World Cup year as well. So the comment section, L for you, hold that, man. I'm about this life. <laughs> tell him. Hey, tell him, money, man. Faz, Faz, back to you. know, Faz, when I, when I met this guy, yeah, I'm, I thought I was passionate. I think Faz is one step above me. He's two steps, maybe three or four. Faz <laughs> is the ultimate guy. If you want to, if you want some motivation before a game, yeah, go to Faz. Yeah, and, and Faz will, yeah, it's will, the happy day, man. It's the red versus blue. It's what what we live for and die for, man. Are you crazy? Do you know the history behind this game? Well, I, I don't know you about dying, but you know, but yeah. Do you know how many games we beat in City, man? They don't even have a Champions League trophy. They're crying. When I ask them about Champions League, the bass goes from their voice. They start talking like like yeah. like freaking them Doja Cat and that man. They start meowing, man. They ain't got no chest. They talk like Doja Cat when I ask them about Literally Champions don't have League. No chest. But, um, yeah, yo, big up, man. Fuzz, man. This is the, you're from Blackburn, isn't it? Big up, too, man. No, I'm me? from Blackburn, Bowen, man. F who Blackburn? Who I'm sure you told oh, me Blackburn, Bolton Wanderer Massive. What do you mean? Blackburn? Oh, big up, Bolton, man. I thought you said you're from Blackburn, you know. Nah, big man. up, Bolton, <laughs> <laughs> Lancashire, anyway, Bolton. Lancashire. Yeah, big up, man. Big up, man. You get me, like, um, but yeah, man, listen, are you are you not gassed up, man? Are you are you you know what I mean? Like, have you got the energy of Fuzz? Like, what's going on? Nah, man, because I still know we can lose. Like, Faz, Faz just thinks we're definitely going to win kind of thing. Like, you still have to pay City you know, a, a lot you of respect. To, you have to respect to those. You have to respect to those. That means someone's got to do it for us. Yeah, you know, don't get wrong. Yeah, you know what I mean? He's a hype listen, man. We need it. Big up Faz in there, but listen, I'm still cool you kind of thing. You'll see Saeed tomorrow, yeah, sat like this on his chair. You know how he does? Yeah, yeah. Like this, like this. Like this. That man just there like this on the side, man. Nah, man. You have to, come on, man. It's Derby Day, man. No, it's don't. Be no, I'm pumped up. But y'all, your next level pumped up. Y'all like, no, we're, we're beating them no matter what. And, you know, no we're confident in what. that. No matter what, man. If Paul Pogba could dye his hair and then put a hyena in, in Old Trafford and go and beat Man City, man. What? McTominay can do it, man. Come on. We can do it. You could believe, yeah, yeah. man. You have to believe. Where, where can we hurt City then? Where, you know, as, as far as they're speaking, in, where's the areas that we can hurt City? Where for you are the danger, man, for United? For me, if you ask me, 100%, our boy Sanchez has to turn up, man. Our boy Sanchez has to turn up. Rashford has to turn up, man. Ericsson, right. these guys. 
forward line, Sancho and Rashford, man, they have to turn up. Sancho been scoring for us, man. He got three goals. Last season, it took him t- till February to get three goals. And this season, he's got three goals already. Bad B, Jack G is there parting and that, man. Bad B, Jack G ain't got no goals, mm. man. What, he got one goal and a couple... Nah, man, allow it. Allow it, man. Yeah, he... Sancho, <laughs> he's composed you know what's mad, ball. yeah? Now you, man, saying indulge cat. Let me indulge in that, yeah? Let me pause. Anyways... San, they're right hand side, yeah. They're, they're right hand side, yeah. Cuz, don't do that again. Don't do that. Again. <laughs> <laughs> you, listen, you, listen, you listen to Central C one time, yeah, and now you're doing that. Don't do that again. <laughs> I said pause. I said pause, innit? I'm talking about letting me indulge in the You listen to Central bit. C one time, you know. Okay, go I, on, go I, on. Bro, I can't lie. I'll just, I really, um, I really listened to Central C like that after after six for six and I was like, this guy's a nerd fam. He's just doing up new. He's just doing up Nuno fam. But um... <laughs> man, like go on, go on, go on. <laughs> Stuff for them. <laughs> Anyways, uh, as I said, their right hand side is very weak. Walker's off form. He's not. I don't even know if he's gonna play or not. But Sancho can definitely hurt Walker, especially on the twist and turns. He knows Sancho might not take him down for the wing, but so that means Kyle Walker might have to. Tuck in, right? So on that note, is Sancho might have a field day slyly. Slyly might have it. Just depends on Malasia for me, because we don't know that their, their wingers are going to track. They always do track. Mm-hmm. But the side that they're scared of the most is our right hand side. Daps is scared of the right hand side. The low, the left back situation. Obviously, Cancelo being uh, playing a lot higher, more close towards the goal. I wonder how we would deal with that. So on that note, is Anthony could turn up. He had a good game in the prem. He did and and whatnot against Arsenal. He had a good forty-five minutes. Now he's fit, well, mm. fit more fit. So let's see what he can do now again. He, he had a run out again with Brazil as well. So again, I would like to see how he does against. The, I don't know who's who's the left seven back. It's gonna be Ruben D- Ruben Diaz. No, no, Akanji, 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 Akanji. Yeah. Akanji. See, Akanji, Akanji's yeah. like Gabriel. We've got Bozo Gene in him. This is what this is what City fans. I know, I know, like. I know. And no City fans just typically watch City only more more or less. Not all of them, but I know that for fact, bro. If you're mm. really like that, you why would you watch any other team? You're a city, bro. But mm. Kanji at Dortmund, yeah, even at Basel or Basel. But when he made that move, that guy has got a bozo gene in him, man. That's why uh, Zagadu mm. was a uh, pocket, like literally when he was there, fam. They were just swapping, changing. Mm. They went to a back three, even. So Kanji, mm. yeah, he had a great game last game out. But it was only against who was that against Wolves? Wolves, bro. Yeah, it's true. Yeah, the man said, of it's course true. you're gonna have a good game. I didn't got no striker. So a Kanji is mm. good. But he's not that good. Maybe under Pep, he will definitely improve himself. Like like Ake has. I think Ake will might play. I'll be real. I think Ake mm. plays. I think it will be smart to play yeah. Ake left back and not Walker. But then again, they say mm. Cancelo can't play on the right. So what problem now? But it's not that I don't rate no. Man City or nothing because everyone knows Man City's uh, com- like their qualities. But as far as it says, they come with energy. You think I'm about to dead that mm. energy, fam? Fuck that. <laughs> <laughs> this is a, you know, I, I like to think like man that I hear this is man, we're representing Manchester United's fans, bro. So why are we gonna come on here and start respecting stuff? If you don't like it, I would if it was hold my on, job, I would just say I would say let me let me just bro. get these super but chats in fans. One sec. Just say say hold on, man. You're this pepperoni guy on the on the comment section on <laughs> Pep's passion prodigy or whatever, man. Go and buy your city ticket because you got empty seats in city, man. Before you keep chatting to me, I might go and buy them tickets and hand them out to United fans, man. Go and buy your city tickets, man. You, you, one pound. See your city, your your stadium's <laughs> empty, man. Your stadium's empty, man. You what is going on today? <laughs> one pound. Stop, what's going on today? Your stadium's empty, man. Get out of hey, here. I no idea. Come on, city. Come on, Little city. Little team, man. One pound, see. Man. <laughs> Man, you see, you yeah, see, be, you, you, did you not see pepperoni saying on camera come and support my team come and support the yeah. team man we need more we need some six filling man nah man this these lot yeah Vinny says here my united uh second best team in england i said it first no, uh, bigger no, to ronald though, jacob correct. because on form right on, on form man united are the Ooh. second actually tell a lie now the last five games we are the most on form team mm. or maybe in the league right yeah. now Ronald Jacob says here, big up to you, bro. People can twerk for Haaland all they want, but his idol plays in my damn club, Ronaldo. Never going to respect any club more than mine. Big up, Faz. You know me too. If we lose, it doesn't matter. Uh, Ejiro says here, big up to you, bro. 
Only way we win this is hit on the break. City will have most of the ball all the time. Stones is out. I think we could win this 3-1. You know that, that the, the Bozo Dream player? There's, 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 there's a, now a feeling that we could group these players in. I feel like Akanji is that kind of player. He's He's got a mistake in him. He's been playing well, stat man. But if there's one player to like say, welcome to the Premier League and have that one bad game and then it's like, oh, City bought this player, but you know what I mean? Bit, a bit of a tricky one. But where are you on in terms of Akanji? Can we target him? Can we double up on him? No, nah, but you see with Vakanji, he's his fourth choice centre back. Like even if he's not as great as everyone like thinks, like he's calm, he's your fourth choice. They still have like Laporte when everyone's fit, Diaz and Stones. That's not like I don't. Laporte. Yeah, I know, but I'm just saying he's still their fourth choice when everyone's fit, which is why I'm, I'm like I don't no. get Vakanji hate. Like don't get me wrong, he's not as good as for example the other three kind of thing. But we could get. It. Like, that's what I'm saying. No, no, I'm, I'm not saying it's rubbish. I don't know why this McLovin mm. has said this. What I'm trying to say is that if there's a defender that we can get, out, it is a Kanji. Diaz is strong. You know what I mean? The, the two fullbacks will try and, you know, you know, get, get be strong mm. as what they can be. But I think a Kanji, it's a new to Premier League. He hasn't had that first game where he's been unsettled. So he's been playing well. This is the first game to unsettle him. That's all I'm saying. It's, it's a big game, bro. Mm. But yeah, game. but then you could probably argue that with what, like, United as well, then. Oh, Brian really? yeah, true. Is at the back. I would like, like to disagree with that. I need Why? to counter attack that because one, a can, this a Kanji played what one game, mm. one game. Yeah, know, so but... he's coming to city. He's coming to city now. Yeah, this guy. Yeah, his reactions are poor. By the way, this is why he's got bozo gene. His reactions are poor, but he's got very. He's got a lot of pace, so we could deal with Rashford on pace. We could talk about that. Like he could catch up. I like definitely. But with a Kanji, why I need to disagree is because like any player, when you come to a new club, you're you're keen to impress, right? Of course you're keen to impress. But in the magnitude of this game where the atmosphere is going to be rocking, I'm telling you now, he, he's going to be used to it because of, because of, by, because of Borussia Dortmund. But even their fans are pressure merchants. So mm-hmm. if he don't do the business, it, the, it's going to turn on him quick. Quick. And it's going to, he's going to feel pressure. Of course you are. If you're not used to these type of games, that's why it might suit someone like Scott McTominay in this sort of game. He's, a, he's Manchester born and bred. So he's got, it means something. It means something to Foden. It means something more to Rashford. All them players. Alanga. All them, man. We got more hmm. of them, man, if anything. So that's why I'm saying. Come on, man. Does that really have matter, though, man? Oh, Sam, man, I hate your negativity. Get, no, get no, up. but look get at this up. guy. Tra- no, this guy is such a passion merchant right now, kind of thing, isn't it? Oh, yeah, we got man born and rare players. Come on, man. That don't win you total yeah. games. Oh, we Stamman, have... let me ask you this on your on your computer, yeah. How many times did you run the algorithm? Because because that's what it sounds like. Nah, it nah, sounds like I'm you didn't... put the numbers in and ran the algorithm, man. Nah, nah, nah but like, <laughs> I, I don't get this kind of thing in it. Like, this like desire. passion, desire, all that nonsense kind of thing in it. Because, like, let's put in a seat, you haven't had like passion, desire, but they're still the best team in this country comfortably. Mm. Like, we, we could have more, we could have more passion than them, but they got more ability than us. No, mm. no, Baines, bro. You're but doing you're what Harry Maguire does. Let me, you're, let me, let me. You're, let gassing, me. Up Lang- you're gassing up a Langer's ability when they have people. No, like no, no, no. I'm saying it's gonna mean. I said, it, I said, I didn't say that. I said it means something more to him. Yeah, but like listen, these man. sort of players, these, these players are grown around the city and everything, surrounding areas. Maybe even if you're like Stockport and so forth. I'm just saying you're moving like Harry Maguire. No, no, but, uh, he didn't okay, back me, his let, boys. Maguire never back Shaw. He never back no one. Let me tell you this: Scott McTominay played for Manchester United against City last year. Yeah, yeah but who cares? The no, is, I, Lush, and he was I, I don't care what anyone says. Lars is a write off because the whole team was shit. It's a nah, different year, bro. Nah, but I'm just saying, kind of thing, isn't it? Like, this passion, desire, nonsense. We need to relax with that kind of thing, innit? Mm. Oh, Baines, mm. I hate you, bro. You say we're going to win. Somebody, no, 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 but you know what it is, though? I hate you. <laughs> you know, you know <laughs> what it is, though? From, kind of thing, <laughs> from a tactical element, though, Statman, you know, Ten Hag has dealt with Arsenal and Liverpool. Does that give you a bit of confidence? Because you know, in the big six games, we've got two out of two now. You know what I mean? Like, he's he's found a way to win the game, both games, when we, it looked like we were going to lose them or get a draw out of them. We're actually winning the games. It's mad. No, no but that's what I said. Like, stylistically, this is why I think we beat City, just because I think stylistically we play into their hands. Yes, Because I know we're good. Come back. No, but, Love that. Love no, that. No, but I said this kind of thing, innit? Yeah, no, I know. Us on the break, we can hurt most teams. Tenog hasn't played Tenog ball, but we know what we're good at. And that's on the transition. And that's what Tenog's got us playing. And that's mm. where it matters. We can hurt City because look at City, for example, against Newcastle. Don't get me wrong. St. Maxim's a better ball carrier than what we have, but our wide, they were causing them so many problems. Mm. And that's why mm. I said Rashford's massive for this game. And this is why I'm so happy that he's back. Without Rashford, I said this, I don't have any hope. But now, mm. it's a different story kind of thing. 
Yeah, um, Sherbet's coming at you, Stan. He's saying Bayes do flat. It's a derby form style and everything. It's out the effing window. Um, listen, man, say whatever you want, kind of. Isn't it? It's gonna who wants it more. I I feel like tomorrow is a game of who wants it more. Uh, obviously, ability plays into it, of course. But who wants it more? It's like Liverpool game. Who wanted it more? We did from the get go. I remember. I remember watching evidently in the stands, bro. Martinez, yeah. I think he who, who was it? Was it Salah or Diaz? I think it was Salah, bro. Just give him a nudge. I said from there, you know, every even the, the fans around me, even any fan that was there, bro, they were like, hey, you know what? I think we're up for this. Just from that little yeah, nudge alone. Sa- Saeed, I know I know you took Bainsy to OT, yeah. And Bainsy mm. was, oh yeah, come on, let's yay, let's <laughs> have it, yay. Ha- Bainzy, he stitched me up, Bainz. Where's the last time you went to an away game, Bainsy? Nah, I haven't, I haven't been to He's away not been to a away game. He's not been to away game. To an away game because that pen and pad and that iPad of yours is getting chucked. That that whiteboard next to you <laughs> with all the numbers and that that spreadsheet is getting chucked. All, right, all I'm saying, we <laughs> better win because the way fans have been talking this stream has been crazy. You know, they're seeing disrespect. All right, but if it pays off, that chest is just gonna. It'd be yeah. like he's been going gym for the last two years, bro, and and I'm rightfully so. That's what I'm saying. Like fair play to fans, isn't he? he's put everything on the line here. I <laughs> that interview on your night if he's gonna be immense. Mm. Yep. Yeah, 100%. Uh, big up to everybody. Keep smashing the likes up, people. There's over 400 of you here. Let's get the likes up to 200, man. Come on, people. Let's. It's been a, it's been a lit show, man. This is this is what you call true passion. This is what you call, you know what I mean? Like We're, we're up for it, man. The, the Blues are in the chat. They're getting nervous in the chat. You know what I'm saying? They, they're starting to feel the pressure now. We're confident. Listen, man, I, I feel like for me, the first goal is crucial in this game. You know what I mean? Because we, we have it, United, have they been down... At home since that four games, we haven't been down, have we? Since the four games, we've we've won in it. We've always been, we've always scored and been the first one. You know what I mean? And then we've kind of obviously done the job. Um, what do you reckon there, Kaz? Do you reckon the heads will drop after the first goal, or do you reckon there's a mental toughness from this team? I, 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 I feel like, especially in the last two, no, 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 the, no, players will be up for it this time. I feel like if it was against someone like Arsenal because it was still a bit fresh, then yeah, potentially, potentially, but. Then again, we could argue we, we it was one one and we and we scored pretty much instantly. Like what ten minutes later was it? 10, or eight minutes later, something like this. Uh, mm. So it's like if we go one 0 down, I'm still scared for the team a little bit. But in this sort of game and this magnitude, I think it will. I think it's just a different kettle of fish. Like you can evidently see from internationals. Yeah, I guess it's a different ball game, but you can see players are just they actually they look happy. They're enjoying themselves. They're playing ball. They're playing good football. They're playing around with some decent football players at that. So I feel like even if it did go one nil down, we could still do something to stick to your game. I think Eric Ten Hag will be drilling that into them constantly. Don't get your head down. But because we had two weeks and we've had some players that didn't go international break, Rashford, Martial, um, Sancho, so forth and so forth, Fun Maguire. But on that note, I feel like he's worked with a lot of the key players that he needs to work with. Especially, so I'm gonna, but, I'm gonna think that we can. It don't matter what happens again in this game because it's a derby, bro. If you put your heads down, the, the fans are gonna be on you. Don't. It's not this sort of game. Ericsson, I feel like he's got elite mentality, anyways. Casemiro, I feel like he's got elite mentality, anyways. I feel like McTominay, you can't break that man's. <laughs> it's just passion merchant, isn't he? Like, let's face it. Mm. But he ain't gonna break that man's mentality. The heads, mm. the confidence players, though. Sancho, Rashford, uh, you could say a few other players, maybe even the low. Um, but I yeah, feel like yeah. he's even. Like some of these players, that worries me a little bit. And that's the players that we do need to rely upon. Even Bruno Fernandes, elite mentality, but he's just a bit of a moaner. No, he is a moaner, not a bit. He is a, he's a top moaner. But so on that note, that, that's what worries me a little bit the most. But mm. I, I don't know what you man think on that. But other than mm. me, don't mind if you go one nil down. Still play the game, man. Mm. As, as, as Omar says here, um, first Liverpool, David Gea came off his line. I knew we won. And Ronald Jacob says here, last minute, Last season, we beat Little City with Maguire and Lindersoft at the back. We have Royal upgrade on them now. Haaland is the only threat there because the rest we have beaten. With all my chess, we win. Faz 100. Um, we, did we beat we, did, we beat City last season? No, we got bad both times. So, I don't know, man. Ronald Jacob, man. You know what I mean? At least, you know what I mean? Like, uh, 4 1 and 2 new, innit? Yeah, man. Last season, we beat Little City. Before. Oh, season before. Okay, yeah. yeah. All right, yeah, yeah, definitely. Season before, we we, we, we beat them. Yeah, but that yeah, shows, you know, especially at the Etihad fast, we've got a good record there, man. You know what I mean? It's yeah. not as if our record there is bad. It's actually a good record. We've got more wins than them in the last four or five games. Like, they've got, what is it, one win in, in, in the last four or five? So, we've got a good record there, man. Listen, listen, um, Rashford, 
this is what he lives for. He fucking turns up, doesn't he? On 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 Derby Day, he's, he's a he's a red through and through. That's what he is. And yeah. on Derby Day, it means. And don't forget, these lot call him City Reject, City Reject, and inject it, inject it tomorrow when it comes and he scores. We'll inject it again. He's got last. He's got last time against the um, City as well, so it can happen. And I think now. You know, one, one thing that I'll say is Ten Hag has bought some real energy and, you know, the bond between yeah. the players. We didn't even have that. We had Inshallah and vibes, man, and we won. And now we've got tactic, we've got bond, we've got players who trust the system, mm. who've got players who are disciplined. There's a lot of things going for us, man. There's a lot of things. Mm. Harry Maguire is pissed off because nobody nobody wants to high-five him. Nobody wants to do <laughs> chest bump with him, man. So he's pissed <laughs> But we've yeah, got it's a true. right now and we can do it. And players are coming. And, you know, Mr. Structure, bigger Nuruddin as well. Yesterday he said, oh, mm. well, when was the last time you've seen players perform after an international uh, duty? We've not. They're always, you know, missing a bit of rhythm and this, that. And I'm like, yeah, I hear you. But then it's, it's Derby Day as well. It's biggest game of the season for us. Mm. We've got to take the points. It's not about one point for me. I know people say, oh, I'll take a one point. You know what? Deep down inside, if I'm being logical, sure. But we have to win, man, right? We've got three ga- We've got three days break and then another game every single, like, in that pattern. A game every three days right up to World Cup, man. We've got to. We really need to make a statement now. It's now mm-hmm. or never. Nah, man. I, just, I don't think we have to win. Like, nah, at the end of the I'm day, you're playing City away. I'm putting yeah. pressure on my guys, man. But do is that, is that true? Do we have to win, Statman? What are you saying? I, I don't think so. Like, I think that next game, that's something you probably say that that should be a game that we should be winning, kind of thing, mm. isn't it? Like we still, mm. like, as I said, we still have to play some respect to see first. Mm. You know what, man? Let's uh, let's get to our our team. Uh, what are you guys think we should do to, for our team tomorrow? Uh, let's get the, the the squad up um, here. Um, what what formation should we play? Four three three or four two three one? I said 4 Yeah? Okay, then let me get it up, people. Guys, keep smashing the likes up, man. Let's get to 200 likes, people. Uh, big up to everybody that's watching right now. Apparently, West Ham are 1-0 up against Wolves. Um, Wolves are shocking this season, man. So, David De Gea in goal. Uh, right back, right back, Delo, guys, or what are we saying? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Keep it same. The back line, they're absolutely same. Okay. Let's keep the back line the same. Um, Baran. East Sandro Martinez. Malasio, big game for him. Malasio, start man. Huge man, huge. Price gone up after tomorrow uh, for him. Fifty. What's everyone's midfield? What's does anyone want to see Casemiro play? By the way, is anyone? <laughs> Is anyone want to see him play? Like, is it anyone? Not risking it, not for me. Not, 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 not yet. I don't, I don't think not yet. I think McTominay deserves, deserves it. Like, it's, it's hard to drop someone that deserves it. That's also been playing well. And as a fan, as much as I don't mm. rate him, I feel like he mm. could be needed. So, but I feel like Casemiro will come on if we are one up at like sixty-five minutes. It's like he's coming on. Fact. Yeah. Okay. So yeah, we'll we'll keep the the back to the same. Um. Ericsson, so key, man. Start more. He's saying Ericsson. <laughs> it's probably our most important player, and no one can do what you can do in Amateur. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Yep, absolutely, absolutely. Um, what are you saying uh, in the free Faz, What are you going for in your midfield free? I, 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 listen, I think, I think, in all honesty, I don't think Martial starts. If he is mm-hmm. fit, it doesn't. I don't see it happening. So I think he comes on second half. So for me, it has to be Bruno in there in the middle with Sancho and uh, Joga Bonito. Yeah. Everyone agreed that one. Yeah. I'll go over Lango. From... Sorry. I said I'll go over Lango over Sanjo. What? Seriously? Yeah. Just a bit no, but I, I see, I see, I see it. I see it. He done it against Liverpool, wasn't it? But he didn't yeah, have answered that point. I don't know. Like man. 55, That's... 60 minutes kind of thing, isn't it? Yeah, I see. Was it. he that no, great I'm against Liverpool. Liverpool, though? Let's be honest. Like, was he? Yeah, I'll, be, I'll be, I'll be real. I'll be real. If we, if we're looking to go one 0 up, and you want to put, let's say, Casemiro on the last, another player you want to bring off is then Sancho, and then put Alanga on. Energy. But the, is, yeah. but the thing is, but the thing is, Baines, Sancho is never good off the bench. Yeah, I know, but he also Martial off the bench this time. So you're not playing Sancho at all. No, but I'm just saying you, you have to see how the game goes, kind of thing, isn't it? But I yeah, he doesn't want to. He doesn't want to play him. 
No, but that means that means you put you put Martial second half on the left and Anthony second half on the right. Mm. No, no, oh, Sancho, sorry, Sancho second half. You could go right. with Rashford on the left, Martial top in the second half if need. And then then put Alang and then put Alanga on though. As well, take yeah. him, take take someone off. No, no, but Energy, I'll, I'll, I'll rather start account. with Alanga kind of thing in it in a game like this. Mm. Speed, you want speed I'd, in it? Yeah. I want okay. I want But the thing is, I think the first forty-five minutes we need to get to the first forty-five minutes as nil-nil. First mm. half has to be nil. Yeah, exactly. And Alanga probably hopes that defensively yeah, more than Sancho does. I can't lie, man. Nah. Start back. I can hear you though. No, nah, we're putting Sancho, man. I'm sorry, man. I'm not. I'm not. I'm, not, I'm overriding this one. Van der Beens. Van der Van der Beens got sacked. Yeah, man. He's injured. Sorry, he's man. Still, he's still injured. He's Van still injured. Van der Assistant yeah, manager with the Lango propaganda, man. And then I'm nah, guessing yeah, Rashford. Yeah, I don't even think Elanga's is like great kind of thing, like that kind of thing. Nah, he's, he's just trash. We always just force Elanga in for no reason, nah, man. We just yeah. always just. You know what I mean? I just don't know, man. I, my thing is, yeah, with with Ilanga, I get it for certain situations. He can press, he can do certain things. But I feel like right now, we're not at that stage now. We're, Sancho's playing well. Anthony's playing well. Rashford up front. We've got enough kind of pace and, and, and power and, you know, flair in there. To, enough to kind of attack City. You know what I mean? Like we don't who gives you the speed? Who gives you the pace? Anthony's quick, isn't it? Rashford's quick. Oh, Anthony, and, no, no, no. Yeah, you man got flanks, Anthony. Flanks, no, I'm not being funny here. Yeah. Anthony is not as slow. Oh, my Anthony bad. Is not as sl- What's that weapon? I think I missed a super chat. Eric Tenag, top coach. Just look at his ex plays not the same. Uh, big up to Vinny for that one. Yeah, I was going to say, Anthony's not slow, bro. I'm not saying he's blistering, but he's definitely quicker than Sancho by a mile. Yeah, but it's not hard like, quicker than Sancho, is it? Yeah, I know, I know. But on the ball, though, I, like, on the ball, he's quick. He's not... Anthony, no, Anthony isn't explosive, but he is quick. Does that make sense? Rashford's lost a bit of explosiveness, but I'm just saying, we got... Yeah. With this sort of team, with this sort of team, you got Bruno, he gives away the ball a little bit. But then we got sort of players like Ericsson, Sancho, and Anthony. That can be controlled. So that's controlled counter-attacks. If you need a, a certain ball picked out to Rashford, I'd rather have one of them there than seeing a Langer or somebody else or Bruno yeah. on the left or something like that. Do you get what I'm saying? Yeah, that's true, that's they're, gonna true. To, they're gonna have to, they're gonna have to work hard to keep up with their fullbacks though. Yeah, some of them being on that Dan James only vibe. Listen, man, it worked, you know, it worked. <laughs> yeah, it did, you know. I don't know. So, so what are you saying then now? What are they gonna be, man? What are they gonna be? Listen, man, normally he used to get results in it, other than last season against the big six. <laughs> mm. See, I'm not sure, man. I'm not sure. I think we could keep this team. I think this 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 group of players. We'll get the job done, hopefully. And um, yeah, man, it's going to be an interesting battle, man. I- I'm looking forward to it, man. I think for me, this is it now. We can stop yep. this feeling of, you know what, Faz, you know what I mean? Give us this this message. What's happening in this derby? Listen, Give us the message. Listen, in, Tell the people life, what's going down. Listen, in life, when chips are down, when things are down and the, and the weight of the world is on your shoulders, that's when you have to rise up. That's when you have to believe. You have to believe. When nobody believes in you, yeah, you have to believe in yourself. I don't want these players to play for me. I don't want these players to play for you. I don't want these players, some of them, to even play for the badge. Play for yourselves. Play Rax. for your family. Play Aye. for your own career. Yeah? yeah you know, like Malasia playing for his cousins. Big up Malasia's cousins. I met them on his day, on his first game. Big up. Play for your family. Again. You don't have to play for me. I'll be here. I'll be here through thick and thin, yeah? Us Twitter idiots will be here. But you lot, play for yourselves. How about that? Please. Tomorrow I... is the day. And if Ronaldo comes on, whether people want to see him or not, if Ronaldo scores, I'm hmm. telling you, I'm breaking the fucking internet. I'm breaking the internet. <laughs> on you. I've already got the clippings. I... I've already got everything. <laughs> yeah? But tomorrow is the day. My my people, Saeed's people, Baines' people, please yeah. stop in respect, yeah? on this team listen to my voice stop putting respect on these teams respect is earned and we've earned our respect when it comes to city yeah mm. we've earned it so please man tomorrow is the day like, Ten Hag should take a leaf out of our text book and get this guy in the dressing room yeah man straight up man straight up bro i'm telling you man faz is the man faz is the man man kaz what's happening tomorrow oh yeah faz give me your prediction Prediction, if we get, like, I don't even want to say this, you know, if we, if they, straight up, 3-1. 3-1, lovely. Um, Kaz, let them know, man. Give give your message to the people, man. Let them know what's going down tomorrow in the building. What's going down? I, I said 1-1, one, one, bro. To be honest. Sorry? 
one one. I have to. I have to. One I, one. I, I can't, I, as much as I want to guess this up, our guess at, at the end of the day is you know like see are still good. They still got Harlan and 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 whatnot. So I have to say one one. But you know what? For the for this stream set, I'm saying two one. Let's get some chess out there. Let's say two one. Come Rashford on, man. Both goals. Both goals. Facts. Stop, man. Let them know, man. What's going down on 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 the sun on Sunday tomorrow? If Rashford starts two one, if you don't, I think we lose two one. That's it. Yeah, Rashford is the main guy. He's the difference maker. Cool, cool, cool. Um, and then obviously, you know, what I mean, I'm gonna come here. I think it's gonna be a two two game. I think we will get a draw, but I think it'll be a resilient draw. I think we're going to go out of there feeling very, very positive about our football club. And yeah, man, I think Lissandra Martinez will have a good game. Um, and and let's see, man. We're, we're going to have it, man. Manchester Derby tomorrow is going down. Make sure you're here tomorrow for the watch along, people. I will be live at one o'clock. We'll be here. And then after that, we've got the show with Andy Tate, um, Flawless and Amanda at 8 p.m. It's going to go down, people. It's going to go down. But listen, you know people. Where I'm going to be? I'm going to be outside Etihad. I'll be there outside Etihad, man. Face Did you get a ticket? Looking at them. Looking at the, looking at Skynet's soul, man. I'll be there, man. I'll see you lot tomorrow. In Did you get a ticket, hours. by the way? Did you get a ticket? Yeah, yeah. I got my seat, man. Don't worry. I'm in there. Wow, man. Jeez, my, boy, my boy used to play for City, so I know about them, man. I know I know about them. I'm, I'm mm. about this life. I'm telling you. Away home, yeah, man. There. Everton game, I'll yeah. be there, man. So the comment section who said, I don't go to games, have that as well. <laughs> yeah, big up, man. Big up. Faz, let them know where they can find you, man. They can find me on Saeed TV. How about that? <laughs> there you go. I'm there here. you I'm go. Man. Planet Faz, I'm here, Come man. on. Come on, man. Big up, man. Uh, stop my base. Make sure you go follow hey, him. Zay, you missed the super chat, by the way, from Ronald Jacob. Did I? Yeah. Oh yeah. Sorry, man. Sorry, bro. Sorry, Ronald. Network issues uh, for Said today, man. Hello. Yeah, man. It's peak. It's peak, man. Today, man. Ronald Jacob says Harlan came up against Martinez in group stage of Champions League 2021-22 season. Alex centre back played in four 0 hammering of Dortmund in October with Harland having kept quiet. Uh, being kept quiet, so Martinez knows Harlan. Like I said it in my last season, man. He kept him in his pocket, and this is what's happening, man. So, listen, it's going to be a big one. Big up to you, Satman Bay. It's nice for coming on. Big up to you. Big up. Thanks for having me on. Yeah, make sure you go follow him. And obviously, never foul traffic ton of my like cars. Big up to you, bro. Always here, man. A pleasure. A pleasure. Big up. Big up. Make sure you guys like the video, man. This guy, we've given you a box office show today. Faz has come out and give you a box office show. So make sure you guys go check that one out. I might be uploading again at 10 o'clock. There's going to be a, a combined 11. I did a combined 11 with City Extra. So listen, man, we made sure there's some United players in there. So if you talk about not back in the club, watch that City Extra. Um, the, 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 what do you call it? The combined 11 is going to come at 10 o'clock. Make sure you check no, it out. It'll be premier life. I'll tell you one thing, though, man. You did a lap of, of Empty Hard and everything with Big Steve. You did all the build-up. For you to come yeah. and say 2 2, man. I was hoping Brother Saeed is going to. No, no, no. You know what it was, yeah? Man, I Saeed, think for me, man, I think you know it yeah. Empty hard, man. No, no, no. I think for me, that was as well when when, when I kind of felt that, you know. I think draw is still a good result. It's not It's not a negative result, a draw at Man City. Still have to understand these are still champions and still a very, very good team. I think it's a very, very good draw if we go to the Etihad and get a draw. That's just my own opinion. But you never know on, on the actual derby day. I might feel different. Who knows, man? Who no, knows? But I can't, like, if you give me a draw right now, I'm taking it. Yeah, you take it. You take it. I think everyone will take it. I think, friends, you'd be in denial if you said right now, get a draw at Etihad. It'd be a good, good result. But listen, people, I'll catch you at 10 o'clock, people, for the combined 11. Peace. <laughs>